You there? Uh, yes, you. I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. You want to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Wait, how do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages. Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Hmm, a small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. Mm, I'm already imagining sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. Our students Never will on the kitchen. Students. Well, they they've seen delicious food and found themselves a bit peckish, likely. Certainly you know makes Rookie's job easier. <laughs> it smells glorious in here. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. he get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah! Nick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Who knew all of this was going on right beneath our feet? You're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf, Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages.
This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Do stay behind me. It's Sir Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Eh, uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want, as if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why, here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sir, you jest. <sighs> It's bound to be around here somewhere, probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. It's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you our entry requirements are quite yeah. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. for games. Who will be next to play our little game of hide-and-seek amongst the pumpkins? Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. 
begin! Cast away until you... Oh, what fun! I've seen this plan! Revelio. I could do that too if I had a wand. And a body. Keep looking. You're sure to find him. Whatever you say, Dumfrey. Rebellious is not my finest moment. Rebellion. And then I won't be the one to clean up this mess. <laughs> Young Jackdaw's no match for you. Why did I come back here? Rebellion. It won't be long now. We'll find it. Rebellion. You make this look easier than it's supposed to be. Who would have thought a mortal would be so good at this? You've almost got him. Keep looking. You're sure to find him. <laughs> served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jack Door here, hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head, and I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go? I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. This is almost too easy. Protego! Oh, nothing more than luck. You're the little sod that saved Treadwell.
I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the forbidden forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros, I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is, rather unfortunately, coming back to me. Hmm, yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. Nothing to do now but keep going. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Something oddly solemn about this place. 
Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. See where Jack Doris led me. I wonder how big this place is. These rooms must have something to do with opening this door. Expelliarmus! visitors down here. I wonder if any of my spells will help me do this. Incendio! symbol is hidden somewhere. Good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Attack! 
here. is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. These can't be what beheaded Richard out. Where they go? Incendio. Expelliarmus. Levioso, incendio. Levioso. Accio. Only imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jack Doo came this way. Expelliarmus! I'll need to look around for the symbol. Getting closer to Jack Daw's remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jack Daw. <laughs> Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jack Daw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Expelliarmus! Expelliarmus, what's up, you brute? 
Incendium. Expelliant. Levioso. Accio. Expelliarmus. Incendium. Expelliarmus. Incendium. Expelliarmus. Incendium. Unnerving. What's happening? I've seen this before. In Gringotts and the restricted section. Where am I? Oh no! The room's starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place.
I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Handy resource indeed, your I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the...